Hello there and welcome to my channel Novice Modelling in the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy and today we're going to do a, another large haul unboxing. Um, this one is one box only. Everything came from the same internet supplier. Uh, if you want to know their name, drop me, a, drop me a message in the comments bar. As they do have a rather interesting stash of bizarre and interesting kits. Um, as we can see, it says 375 on here. That's basically roughly the price I paid for this box of wondrous plastic. So let's get on with it and get it open and have a look at what I've been spending my hard-earned money on. First off, we have a AZ model. This is a Feisler Fi-167 over the Balkans and Yugoslavian markings. This particular aircraft was uh, developed for the uh, German Navy and was intended to be put on the um, aircraft carriers that never materialized, thank the Lord. Next off, we have a Azur from PZL24BE marked up over the Danube. This is a Polish aircraft that after the capitulation of Poland was pressed into service by the Romanians and the Bulgarian Air Force. Next off we have a Ambrosini SI SAI 207. This is a late war Italian aircraft that saw limited use before the Italians um, surrendered. Next off we have a Heinkel 112 V10. This is a late 30s German aircraft used by a few different countries. I think it was mainly used as a trainer. Uh, next up we have a Avro 626 Prefect, done out in Belgian colours. You can also mark it up for the Czech and the Portuguese and the New Zealand Air Force. I think this is mainly a trainer. Next up we have an Oka 38 Iced. Uh, this is the Soviet licensed produced Faisler Stork, the equivalent of. Next off we have an Avia B135. This is a Czech aircraft that was briefly utilised, it appears, by the Slovakian Air Force. I don't think there was many of these produced. Next up we have a Hawker Hurricane, Mark 1 Eastern Front by Armour Hobby. This, as you can see, has alternate markings for the Finnish and Romanian Air Force, who were both limited users of this type. Now we have an ICM DS7202. All over Spain, the sky is clear. Uh, I forget what aircraft this is. This is a um, comes with two Messerschmitt early model 109s. I think this is an Avia B2 or something like that. It's a Russian bomber, basically, in the use of the um, Spanish Republican Air Force. Next up, we have a PZL 23B Karas, which is a Polish light bomber, which has been pressed into Romanian service after the Romanians, um, sorry, after the Polish surrender. This one's produced by IBG models. Next, we have a Arado AR396 in Czech and German markings. Again, I believe this is another trainer aircraft. We have a AZ model Gloucester Gauntlet Mark II with special markings for the Finnish Air Force. Also comes with Royal Australian Air Force Egypt and number 79 Squadron Biggin Hill 1938. We have another Gloucester Gauntlet, Mark 1 by AZ model. This one comes with Danish markings and two RAF squadron markings. Next up we have a Dornier DO-22 by RS models. This one is marked up for Yugoslavia and has two Czech variations and another Yugoslavian. Uh, Mark, and interestingly, this one is in Egypt 1942, so this one obviously escaped the German invasion. <clears throat> Next up, we have Special Hobby 172 Junkers JU 87 D5 Axis satellites. And as we can see, this one's done in Romanian markings. 
also comes with markings for the Hungarian Air Force, the Slovak Air Force and the Bulgarian Tsarist Air Force. Interesting. I have another Special Hobby 172 P40M Warhawk involuntarily from Russia to Finland. So these are basically uh, Lend-Lease aircraft supplied to the Soviet Air Force, which have then been captured and pressed into service by the Finns in probably the Continuation War or maybe the um, Winter Invasion. We have another Azur From. This one is an IAR-39. This is a Romanian aircraft. Comes with two sets of in-war and one set of after the surrender to the Soviets. I believe this marking is here. And that is either a light bomber or some sort of reconnaissance aircraft. And last but not least, we have a 172 Special Hobby again. DB-8A3N, outnumbered and fearless. This is done in a, this is a Douglas, American Douglas aircraft. And this is done in uh, Dutch markings. Also comes with Czech markings and German captured. So there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you get for £375. A whole bunch of rather interesting and obscure kits that no doubt I will get to build some point over the next eight years. Yeah, I've got a lot of kits. I do intend to build a lot of these but it's going to take me a while. So please do like and subscribe and please do follow me on my novice model building ride as I'm going to be veering away from the tried and tested Spitfires, Hurricanes, um, 109s and Fock Wolfs and do some slightly more obscure aircraft, which I'm probably sure is not to everybody's taste, but it's something a bit different at the end of the day and I kind of like different. So please do like and subscribe, like I said. Please do drop us a comment and tell us what you think of my building madness or my buying madness and be seeing you.